What's going on, y'all? Chilling, chilling, chilling. This is some Battlefield 1. And everybody knows that I'm a Philadelphia Eagles fan. Good luck to y'all tonight against the Dallas Gay Boys. But everybody knows that I love Battlefield 1. But every game isn't perfect. When I loved COD, I used to give it hell. You know, because it's like that... You know, it's like that girlfriend that you just want to be perfect. You know what I mean? And you tell her her flaws because you want her to get rid of those flaws so she can be perfect. That's kind of a bad example, but I know y'all can relate to that if y'all like girls. It does have its problem. And I'm gonna say the worst problem of the game first. I know a lot of people save it for last, but I'm gonna say the worst problem first it's the gas. We know World War I was popular and like known for its chemical warfare, but it's a video game. You know, you put automatic weapons in the game. So turn the gas down a little bit. People have two gas grenades. I don't think you need two gas grenades. Either you cut the gas the damage down in half, cut the time it lasts in half, or give them one gas grenade. And that can be easily fixed with a patch. All of its problems can be easily fixed with a patch. I'm reading from a piece of paper. I wrote them down, as y'all can see. The next problem are the mortars. They either need to shoot one mortar and give it a cool down. Shoot another mortar and give it a cool down. You know, mortars really need to be nerfed. I think in Battlefield 4, you have had to be alive for 50 seconds or something like that. Either implement that or give it a cool down. You know, that's the only way that it could be fixed. The next thing are the medics suck. Other than that, one gun, the marksman gun with the scope on the side of it. Other than that, all the weapons are ass. I can't believe those weapons are that bad and all of them are single shot that can turn into auto, but they're, you know, they're natively single shot. I don't know. I just can't get down with those weapons. I think those weapons really need a buff. You know, it's nothing else they could do. They got to just buff those weapons. And that marksman rifle is the only thing that... Because it's not that accurate without the, the scopes on it. The, the I think it's the M1918 marksman. The next thing goes back to the, the support class. The support class really needs a buff. These weapons are like super weak. I remember shooting a guy. I think I posted a video. I shot a guy, I think seven times and he did the, you know, the battlefield bop. That's what I call it. You know, when you're getting shot and you do all this stuff and you run away. He did the battlefield bop and ran away. I'm like, yo, Okay, maybe this one, it was, it was actually this weapon. I'm like, all right, I'm like, maybe this weapon is weak. You know what I mean? Let me just switch the weapons. Then I switched it to the one, I think I picked up somebody's, the one that the ammo goes across like this. You load it, it goes like this, like that. I picked that up and the guy did the diddy bop, the battlefield bop again and ran away. I'm like, wow. All of these weapons need buffing. It's not just Jive saying this stuff. It's everybody that plays with these weapons. I know DICE listens, but the LMGs need a buff even if they have to take a hit on the reload. You know, extend their reload a little more. Take another hit on their reload. You know, make it a little longer, but make them be able to kill people you know i don't touch the lmgs because they're that underpowered you know that's why everybody just spawns in mortars spawns in mortars that's the reason the next thing this isn't that realistic 
I know I, I, I fucking I preach being realistic. I preach being realistic in these video games. I preach it. Please, that's not realistic. Boost jumping. Oh my god, that's stupid. But this thing right here, the anti-tank grenades and the anti-tank rocket shouldn't do that much damage to infantry. Use your weapon. Use your real grenade. If you threw your grenade already for people, your infantry killing grenade, your regular grenade, hey, tough luck. You know what I mean? It should hurt people. You know what I mean? It should hurt 20% damage, something like that. But they shouldn't do that much damage to infantry. All the damage should be to the heavy tank, the tank, the airplanes that's flying by, you know? Blow them up, have a blast. But don't throw your anti-tank grenade just because you have extra grenade. Oh, anti-tank grenade, anti-tank grenade, grenade, smoke grenade. Like, come on, that's just too many grenades. The grenade spam is crazy. We need to lower the grenade spam and higher the gun skills. The next thing, this is a bug. I'm sure they're gonna be able to fix this. After you throw a grenade, and you lit, like say you throw a grenade and you see someone. After you throw the grenade, then you lift your weapon back up. It's like a little, what the fuck was that? It takes a little bit of time to get your gun. Your gun is already up, but the, the trigger just doesn't work. Like, like the guy says, I'm gonna give him a chance. Hey, you, you ready yet? I threw a grenade at you. Are you ready, guy? All right, let's gunfight. Like, it's like your character says that to the person that he's trying to kill. The next thing is a similar problem, but it's worse than that. Say I die with 12 bullets in my magazine. I die with 12 bullets in my magazine. Then my homeboy comes and revives me. I'm revived and I see somebody. I see, I know exactly where the guy is that killed me. Either you revive people with a pistol in their hand or make the gun work. If I got 12 bullets in my magazine and I'm revived, I can't shoot. But the crazy thing is you see the bullets counting down like you're shooting. And it's, it's like you're shooting nothing. Like, like there, like you get revived, you see your enemy and you're like, nothing, 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 motherfucker, nothing, nothing. You don't, you don't belong, you don't deserve to die, nothing. It's like you're shooting nothing at them. The next thing is another big problem. I, I, I really hate this aspect of the game. These things are, are super cool, but I really hate this aspect of the game. The behemoth, I really hate it. It's impossible to take out when you have certain flags. I can understand if we have, if we're up a certain amount of points, right? And we have certain flags, you know, we have certain flags and when they call the behemoth in, our certain flags spawn anti-air turrets. That will be the only way to counter this thing. The flags we have spawn anti-air turrets. I shot the behemoth a million times with my anti-tank rocket launcher. Nothing happened. It, it like hit it and then it just, it just showed the hit marker. Nothing happened. So you telling me I gotta just run to a, a turret somewhere? Maybe I don't have this flag. You know, every flag doesn't have an anti-air turret spawn an anti-air turret so we can battle we can go to war with it I, I, the stuff i say i don't i don't know if this stuff makes sense to regular people i know to people like me it makes a ton of sense sometimes when the behemoth comes in i just leave it seems like i'm the only one battling it and all I have is an anti-tank rocket. 
the snipers are having fun trying to snipe the guys out of the 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 gun they're not really trying to kill the behemoth but they're trying to snipe the people out of the you know out of the behemoth the gun you know the turrets that it has those are my only problems the game is really good the game is great i love this game look at this graphics this mightn't do it any justice because i'm recording it with elgato right now but this game can be one of the best first person shooters ever made and don't forget to like the video and leave a comment on what you think about what i said leave your own ideas in the comments and do whatever you can to get eyes on this video but i'm gonna leave special bonus footage on how to take out a tank at the end of the video i'm out peace and we are giving you a little tip on how to take out a tank real quick. And that's not the way. There you go. Try to hit them square with these bad boys. And then he's just gonna run away. There we go. Gotta disable on him. Got to disable. Oh, that's how you take out a tank. Try to hit him in the backside. Hit him in the ass. And they will die.